This is John Ticklock and today I'll be showing you how to save space on your mp3 or uh, iPod by changing the bitrate of an mp3 song. Now um, what we're going to use today is uh, two programs. Uh, one is Audacity, that's a free program uh, and also Super uh, Converter, Super Converter, it's another uh, free program. The download links will be on the description box so don't worry about that. Now. Um, the bit rate is basically, uh, it doesn't define the quality, but it can have something to do with the quality. It has more uh, to do with the how much uh, time it can buffer and, uh, <clears throat> you know, the basic quality of the song. Um, usually you'll see that the bit rate is 192 kilobits, 328, um, maybe even higher. But the uh, bit rate we want to keep is at 96. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to just use an example from Michael Jackson's uh, album. I'm going to use the, uh, the example beat it. Now it's at 320 kilobits uh, per second. Uh, and as you can see, the size is 10 megabytes, which is a lot, especially for those with iPod shuffles or nanos that are like, you know, only 2 gig, 1 gig, you know, whatever it is. So 10 megabytes will add up. These songs will add up, and uh, especially if you uh, <coughs> rip it off a CD. Excuse me. And uh, when you rip it off a CD, you buy. They usually try to make it at the highest quality, especially um, Michael Jackson songs or uh, top artists, top-selling artists like Eminem or Mariah Carey or um, Rihanna. You know. So. Uh, what we're going to do is first I want to show you from Audacity so I'm just going to drag the file into Audacity and it's going to import the mp3 file now what we need in order to export an mp3 file is something called a lame encoder and that will also be in the download box uh, I mean the description box for you to download <clears throat> it's very straightforward all, all you need to do is download the uh, exe run it and um, you'll be able to export an mp3 file now this will take it says 13 seconds and um, it usually wouldn't take that long but because it's a like I said a 10 megabyte file it will take substantial time alright so here it is now what we're going to do is go to edit and then preferences or just control P on your keyboard uh, once the uh, audacity preferences loads up we want to go to the file formats tab and underneath the uh, <clears throat> the uh, uh, mp3 export setup we want to change the bit rate to 96 and um, yeah I guess the highest is 320 um, but that's just the encoder which I have here which is a lame version 3.98 uh, there are other encoders that can go higher but we want to keep it at 96 now by keeping at 96 uh, this doesn't degrade the quality um, it, it, you won't find a difference. Uh, you have to have an especially trained ear, ear to um, actually n notice any uh, difference in the sound quality. Now, um, I'm guessing if you have a Bose headphone, which actually eliminates every sound, every uh, outside noise, and the sound is like high definition, you would probably be able to see, um, I mean, hear the difference. Um, and like if you're an audio engineer, of course. But. I mean, uh, a, a home user like me, or like someone like you, who just listens to an iPod, like going to work or, you know, going to school, you won't hear a difference. Now what we're going to do is go to File and then Export as MP3. And uh, you can export it anywhere you want. I'm just going to export it to the desktop, so it's easier for me to find and for you to see, so I don't waste any time now it's going to export now remember again this is a 10 megabyte file so um it might take some time to render and export the whole uh the whole mp3 file uh yeah i'm going to actually play uh part of the song so that you can see that there really isn't a um change in quality there really isn't but we're going to be we're going to come back so that you guys can see the difference all right, and I'm back, and it looks like it has uh, loaded or um, rendered fully. We're gonna check the size now. I'm gonna go to properties just by right clicking, and as you can see, the size is now 2.96. Whoa, that's just that's 
big drop. That's eight megabytes smaller. That's another you can fit another two songs. Um, <clears throat> whereas if you didn't change it to 96, you would have had just one song at 10 megabyte. Um, now I'm gonna drop beat it into super and I'm gonna keep it there now um, I believe that when you download this super program uh, it's gonna be at the second bullet point down we want to change it to the first um, click the drop down button we're gonna change it to mp3 audio only you don't have to mess around with any of this the only thing you need to do is uh, change the bit rate and we're gonna change that to 96 keep it at two channels 44 uh, sampling frequency and we don't have to worry about the options that's already been taken care of for us now we're gonna click encode the active files and you'll see here that I believe parsing input file one of those I'm pretty sure it's parsing input you'll see it soon here it's gonna first say initiate progress right <clears throat> and um, okay alright let's see alright great alright and it's just gonna initiate the process and uh, it should be done in a roughly uh, basically the same time as Audacity I'm pretty sure the encoder they use uh, is pretty much the same lame encoder is the uh, standard mostly what the uh, audio producers use also alright there you can see it says parsing the input file alright so um, I'm gonna cancel that because we know what it's gonna do and it's gonna be basically the same as audacity now why did I show uh, show you guys super now the uh, benefit of super is that you can drag and drop uh, any number of files on audacity you have to do it one by one so if you drag and drop like 10 files into super it'd be all done and you have less time it, it would be done in less time than if you were to do it one by one in audacity so that's the benefit of super it's also a it's I guess it's also easier to use. I mean, you don't have to download a lame encoder. It's already been downloaded uh, with the installation. And um, basically, it's very uh, straightforward. So I'm just going to X out. All right. So now I'm going to play you guys, play to you guys uh, the 10 megabytes, if I can find it. Or I can just play it from here. All right, let me get this all set up for y'all guys. Let's see. All right. All right. Here we go. As you see, it's a 10.1 megabyte file, so I'm just going to hit play.